guys welcome back to my channel it's marina here and i'm happy to welcome you to another video if it's your first time here you're welcome if you're an og welcome back thank you very much for stopping by and clicking on this video um in today's video guys like you can tell from the title no it's not clickbait i am exhausted i am completely exhausted guys and um I was so close, so close to putting out an announcement on um, my social media platforms and my YouTube community page that there'll be no video today. Um, but I decided not to do that. I decided I was going to bring out a video regardless for a couple of reasons, guys. So I was talking to somebody, a friend of mine, about how I was feeling and how I am not going to be able to record a video for this week. And she said, you know, maybe you should talk to your people why don't you just tell them how you're feeling why don't you just talk about what's really going on with you instead of canceling the video and i thought that's a good idea i don't want to only come to you guys when everything is good and gay when i make the videos um the vlogs there are interesting things going on or i have information that i'm coming to dish out that's basically all you guys see but you don't really see the days where i'm off you don't really see the days where i'm not a hundred percent so today i decided that you know what I'm not about to sit down here and paint an unrealistic picture of perfection in my life for you guys so we're going to be able to show you guys the not so good days which is why I decided that I'm going to film this video I'm going to make it regardless well before I tell you guys what's going on with me um, a group of people crossed my mind recently and I'm talking about those subscribers of mine who are just waiting to land in Canada for those people who have gotten their confirmation of permanent residence and everything is good and ready to go but you're stuck in your home countries because of the travel restrictions in canada and you guys my heart really goes out to you guys um it, it crossed my mind this week because this past week because it's officially one year since um everything shut down in canada it's been officially one year since we have been working remotely since travel restrictions have been in place it's about it was about one year this past week and yo guys like a joke it's been one year of people just hanging it's one year of people waiting and hoping that there will be positive news and up till now there's still no clear direction on the way forward for people like that my heart goes out to you honestly i cannot tell you that i understand what is going on with the ircc it's no news that covid slowed a lot of things down um, I mean you guys saw I told you guys about my own experience with the IRCC a process that should have been two months took 11 months because of COVID so a lot of things are not as they should there's a lot there's, there's so much backlog from what we hear and I heard a report recently that um, the Minister for Immigration was saying that even the people who have expired confirmation of permanent residence will still be able to land as soon as the travel restrictions are lifted i know that that's not the kind of news that that's not the exact news that people are waiting to hear but at least it's a step closer to what we're hoping it will be i'll put a screenshot of that report on the screen and put the link in the description box so for those of you who haven't seen it you can check it out i actually shared this on my twitter feed so if you're not following me on social media why you can follow me on twitter at marina underscore siri my handles are always in the description box when i hear information first hand i try to share it on my social media feed so it will help you to follow me i'm marina underscore at marina underscore siri on twitter and on instagram i know that that's not exactly the news people want because it's still not very clear as to when will the travel restrictions be lifted we don't know we're all just going to hope and pray that in the coming days in the coming weeks we're going to hear some kind of news that would help people's situations because i'm trying to imagine because i heard a couple of stories i've had a couple of you email me just asking this question some people got turned back at the airport it was at the airport they realized they couldn't fly at the airport means you've resigned your job you've sold your houses or rented out your place or sold your property like your homes are empty only to now go and realize that you can't fly and what you think should have been a couple of days or a couple of weeks is now one year and counting so i can imagine how broken and how hard it must be for a couple of you i just want you to know that my heart goes out to you and i'm hoping that in the coming weeks we'll hear something that will give us more hope something that will provide a clearer direction on the way forward so i just thought to encourage you guys i know how i can only imagine how tough it must be but please hang in there you've come this far you've gone through the entire process you've come this far just keep hanging in there don't lose hope hopefully all of this will be sorted soon okay and honestly it's because of you guys i decided to make this video because as um 
not 100% as I feel. I still just felt the need to come out here and encourage somebody. So I hope that um, this helps somebody. Um, and speaking about that, guys, to the rest of us, um, I just came here today to let you guys know that I'm not myself. I'm not myself today. I'm not 100% um, okay. First of all, I have been dealing with a throat infection that I cannot explain where it came from. Like, I just noticed that something was different about my voice. My voice was becoming a bit croaky and a bit husky. So I went to the doctors and that's when they found that I had a throat infection. It was painful. It's very uncomfortable. Just talking right now, it's not very easy for me. So I'm taking breaks in between to drink water so that my throat doesn't feel sore. Like that's not enough. My right ear started to hurt. It, ENT, you know how, how everything is connected. Anyway, my right ear started to hurt to hurt and then it turns out that there's fluid building up in my right ear. Like I don't even know what that means. I don't I've not gone swimming in years. Is it the shower that I have every day for how many years? Is today fluid now got out? Like you guys, I'm just tired, honestly. I'm tired. Apart from not being physically okay, because I've been on antibiotics for uh, a little over a week now and I feel some relief, but I'm still not a hundred percent. Aside that, life is still going on. I'm still, I'm still, I still have to do all the things that I have to do. School is still going on. That has been absolutely crazy. Yeah. Guys, this past week, I had a couple of assessments. I had two case studies. I had a quiz all due in the same week. And yo, some days I just sit down and think about all of this. I'm like, is it, is it even worth it? Like I've considered dropping out of the school many times. But you know, one of the reasons why I can't drop out is because of you guys. How am I going to come back and explain to you people that I could not do school, I dropped out. Like, I feel like I'm doing this, not just for myself, but it, it can be a source of encouragement to somebody else to say, look, this thing is not easy, but if I can do it, you can do it as well. So I cannot afford to come back here and tell you guys that I couldn't do it because it was too much like nothing in life is going to be easy and this is one of them so this week has just been a roller coaster of emotions guys i think the hardest emotion that i've dealt with in this whole period of me being sick and having to all these many deadlines that i can't even outsource that's another thing <laughs> it's not a case of oh somebody go and do my work for me or somebody do my school for me or somebody reply my emails for me that's the only thing that i've been able to put back my emails and that's the reason why if you emailed me um recently i haven't been able to get to it it's not intentional guys it's not intentional i just really need to um I just need to organize things properly so I don't really break down. That's what I'm afraid of. I don't want to break down. I can't afford to. I think the most difficult emotion that I dealt with in all this period before I found out what was wrong with me, it was just the fear. The fear of what I actually thought was going on. Because some of the symptoms that I felt that made me go to the doctor were familiar symptoms, were symptoms I've seen before. It was a different person and the diagnosis was different. So when I started to feel those symptoms, you guys, I was overtaken by one kind of fear that I could not explain. Of course, you know how sometimes you feel some symptoms and you go on Google. Don't do that by the way. If you try it, Google is going to tell you you have cancer or you're going to die. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. I went and I Googled my symptoms. Wrong move. Wrong move. Anyway, of course, the, the, um, possibilities that I saw out there were not very encouraging so for that period between when I booked the appointment and the actual appointment for me to now go and find out what was wrong like guys it was paralyzing fear I can't even lie it was paralyzing fear I'm a Christian so I believe in God's word we did a lot of talking and declaring God's word my husband did a lot of talking just encouraging and trying to get the fear out of my head but that part was tough it was the hardest part like waiting to actually go into the doctor and hear the diagnosis that was the hardest part i'm glad that um, it's not what i thought it was and uh whatever it is um the antibiotics are going to take care of it so all of this put together guys has just really put me down in a way the last couple of weeks i've just been down i've not been myself some days is a struggle now because i'm not can you hear my voice is still husky now, because I'm not really coming down with physical symptoms, I'm still able to do work. I'm still able to do school. I'm still able to do what I need to do. But me, I know that I'm not okay, right? I know. I tried to take a day off. I did take a sick day off because I had some um, side effects that would have stopped me from functioning at 100% at work. So I did get a sick day um, this past week. But I still found that I was not able to rest. I was not able to really just 
shut everything else down and rest because I had deadlines in this past week like I said I had case study deadlines at school I had quizzes I had assessments I could not bring myself to rest knowing that those things were pending I don't know if this happens to anybody else so instead of me to completely stay in bed I did stay in bed for like the longest time and when I felt a slight relief it was almost like oh, I have to get back to this I have to get back to that because this is pending I don't know I don't know how to shut down I really don't know what else to do anyway guys so um, the long and short of all I'm trying to tell you guys here is I'm not afraid to be vulnerable to you guys I feel like we've reached that stage where I mean we've shared a couple of highs on this channel there's no reason why if there's a low moment I can't share that with you guys there's no reason why I can't be vulnerable and let you guys know that man I'm struggling this period I'm just struggling like um, I don't know I don't know I'm just exhausted adulting is hard adulting is a lot of work I'm just doing this to let you guys know that yes first of all I'm not okay I'm not myself um, it's a bit of a struggle for me these days and to also let you guys know that it's okay it's completely okay to feel this way it's completely okay for you not to be okay it's completely okay for you to admit to yourself that you're not okay that's that's why i'm doing this basically just to let people know that um however way you're feeling however way you're struggling you're not alone i i follow what is going on especially in nigeria i follow the news and i know that a lot of people are in similar positions like me i could be active on social media even though i've been quiet this last week for reasons that you guys now know um i follow i follow nigerian news right and most times i think the most heartbreaking part for me is reading the comments and just touching the hopelessness in some of the comments that people put out there and those things you guys it gets to me it does get to me like those things really hit me no matter how far away from home i am nigeria is my country and if things are not okay there i cannot be 100 percent okay that's the truth um so if it's me if if part of what's happening in nigeria, if what is happening in nigeria is affected affecting me partly like this i can only imagine how it is for the people who are living these realities every day it's okay for you to not be a hundred percent it's okay for you to admit that you're not a hundred percent i'm hoping that things will get better and um you're not alone you're not alone really guys long and short i don't i don't have a lot of encouragement to give today because like i said i'm struggling and the encourager needs encouragement as well so we can rant we can encourage ourselves so if you're in if you're dealing with any situation the one that you can't tell people the one you can tell people just know that you're not alone um and nobody's life is perfect no matter how it looks on the outside we all have days like this when we struggle and i thought it was realistic and okay for me to show you guys that look this is what my struggling days look like i'm i'm not okay and i'm not afraid to admit to you guys that i'm not okay anyway um thank you very much for watching this video guys we'll all be okay uh the next set of videos you will see hopefully i would have more energy i would have been back to 100 percent um physical health and all the things that i'm dealing with would have passed you know uh, my husband has been amazing he has been very supportive but like i said the things that i'm struggling with right now are not things that i can outsource it's not something he can do for me but i know that it will pass i know it will pass and i'll be back to my usual bubbly crazy self in no time thank you very much um for watching this video guys i know that you guys always leave kind comments in the comment section of the video so i'm thanking you in advance for all the kind comments that you guys are going to leave in this video the next set of videos you will see will be more bubbly i have a vlog that's coming up soon that i pre-recorded before this so i'll have more energy in that one well thank you very much for watching this video guys i'm sending e-hugs i'm sending you guys all of you hugs uh for everybody who's struggling like me hanging there will all be okay okay this phase is going to pass and we'll be fine well thank you very much for watching this video guys and until i come your way in the next one it is marina saying thank you and have an awesome day bye guys <laughs>